another day. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Josh, and this is Working Man Reads. Today, I will be reviewing Rob Shepard's um, My Name is Human. Now, Rob did, he actually gifted me a couple books and uh, for honest reviews. And yeah, I mean, I really haven't found a Rob Shepard book I haven't liked yet. Um, some of his stories, I might be like, higher on some other than others, but I really just like his writing style. It's a very vintage horror style. It's as if you could take, um, oh my gosh, it's so hard. Like Clive Barker, but with like Matherson and like, just like you just meshed vintage, but made it refreshing and new. That's how Rob Shepard writes. Um, so what did I think of My Name is Human? And uh, so this is, I'm just going to read my Goodreads reads review real quick, and then I'll give you a synopsis of the book. Um, this one's going to be a quick one because it wasn't tremendously long, but I hope you guys enjoy. So, Shepard writes with such a vintage but yet fresh style. Frankly, he is one of my favorite authors currently working in the horror genre. His stories have such pulse-pounding suspense that if you are not enjoying your time reading his work, you may have to check to see if you are human. Now, that's a little... It's a little play on, on the story. Um, but yeah, first of all, I want to say thank you to Rob, which I did already. Um, this story follows a man, Peter, who acquires an AI household supercomputer. Um, I love the science fictional elements of this story. Honestly, a lot of it seemed very realistic. I could honestly see things similar to this occurring in the future. I do not want to spoil anything, and that's what I said. Um, Sci-fi horror at its best. I land at 4.5 stars for this one. And uh, yeah, I'll get a little bit more into the plot. Um, but nothing spoiler. So basically, this guy's just doing nothing with his life. This guy Peter, he's he's kind of a boring dude. Uh, he but he does need some personal connection. Um, I believe he even was a divorcee, or divorce. He divorced from his wife. So he's just kind of chilling. He wants to connect with with some people. Um, but instead, he just buys a supercomputer and it's an AI, and you can set it up to be kind of your friend. So when he first starts setting it up, he wants it to be a gentleman. Uh, that he can just kind of shoot the shit with and hang out with. Uh, and then all of a sudden his subconscious almost like creates it into a female. And basically, uh, he just it just kind of escalates and, and gets interesting from there. Uh, honestly, when I first started reading it, I thought it was going to be like her. I think that was the movie where the guy falls in love with basically Siri or, or whatever like that. And I... Uh, I started following, I thought it was going to be like kind of like a, a romancy science fiction story. Um, and I'm going to leave it at that. It's, it's not. It's a lot more than that. It's a sci-fi horror novel and it, it's dark. Rob Shepard writes, that was just, it's gripping. It's a very, very good story. So definitely go check out My Name is Human. I, I freaking loved it, man. I loved it. I'm definitely going to link on uh, um, Amazon link down below so you can go pick it up and and follow rob shepherd on um anything i think he's on everything so just just type his name and, and go find him maybe on instagram i'm sure he's on twitter and, and youtube and all that and facebook whatever you guys are on so uh this is the synopsis when your loneliness means your work becomes your obsession what happens when the obsession becomes real what happens when the virtual becomes flesh Sci-fi meets horror in this terrifying exploration in human dependency and dystopian ideas turned upside down. One man finds out what happens when the lines between humanity and electronic blur. Is emotional is emotion a solely human trait, or can you be can it be attained? Can a computer have a soul? This is a terrifying novella from the 2016 SIB Award nominated author Rob Shepard. Doesn't hold back any horrifying possibilities into question. So, holy crap, yeah. So, right there, he's already won awards, so I'm not shocked that I love his writing, so that makes sense. Um, I didn't know that. But, yeah, so Rob, thank you again. I'm going to keep working my way through all your stories, but this one is <laughs> pretty fucking good. So, thank you guys. Hope you have a wonderful week, um, and, yeah, deuces.